Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions, and today in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to produce and render your videos using After Effects. Now I get tons and tons of questions each day on how do I produce my video tutorials, how do I produce my animations once I'm done with my After Effects, how do I get to a single format so I can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, and bring it to my video editor. Well, I'll be showing you how to produce your videos today using After Effects and show you some of the possibilities, the different compressions, the pros and cons of each compressions, and basically give you the ups and downs of rendering in After Effects with the best quality for the best purpose for the best projects, etc. So let's get started. So say I have a whole bunch of assets right here. I have all these compositions and everything. And what you want to do is combine all your compositions together to make a final composition that you want to render. So pretty much make a composition that has everything completed, that has your whole footage, all your compositions together, and basically make a composition that's done and that's ready to render for your final movie. So right here, I usually make a comp called render comp. As you see right here, render comp. And basically, my final video, everything that's put together is done in this final comp, in this render comp. And this comp is what I use to render, and it's gonna look exactly like this when I render it out, in this exact same composition. So before you render things out, make sure you have everything completed, everything's done, you ran previewed, and you watch everything, and everything runs smoothly. So when you render something, you have to make sure that your work area from the start to finish is appropriate. So say you only want to render five seconds. Well, you start from zero seconds right here and select your end work, in, work area and bring it down to five seconds. This means that it's only gonna render from zero to five seconds. Now, if you wanted to render your whole composition then make sure that your work area is set to the whole composition. So my composition is 10 seconds long. I'm gonna make sure that my work end ends at 10 seconds and it starts at zero seconds. So once that's all set up, we're ready to render. Go to the composition and then click on make movie and it brings up the render queue right here so basically basically the render queue is the engine that After Effects uses to render your movie your composition now basically your render settings and all that stuff by default it's not that great so you have to go down to the output module right here by default it's on lossless and on de by default it's under the format of video for windows because I'm on windows right now so that's the default format but what I like to do all the time is select QuickTime movie as my format and everything else should be fine, their post render action should be fine, and everything like that. Now, this is where it gets to the customizing part. Click on the format options. So basically, we want to make our video a QuickTime movie, because QuickTime, you know, it has really good quality, and the file size is pretty decent. I mean, WMV reduces the file size down a lot, but the quality, you kind of lose, start, you start to lose some quality. And AVI is just crazy, and it's just big, but no one really uses AVIs nowadays, even though it's universal. So everyone uses QuickTime, so we're going to go with QuickTime Movie right now. And basically QuickTime Movie has a whole bunch of compression types. As you see right here, compression type, you have the animation, H.264, which is Apple's codec. We have Photo JPEG and PNG, MP4, so many presets, so many composition types. So how do we know which one to use? Well, basically, it depends on what you're creating and what it's for. So say you're creating a project for a television channel or commercial project if you want quality and all you care about is quality you don't need to you don't care about the how large file size is you want to go with the animation preset the animation preset is ideal for animators for your tv shows your animations that are broadcasted live basically anything that requires as much quality as possible but we're going to go with the animation preset i like to keep my frames per second at the default ntsc dv 29.97 frames per second and make sure that your quality is set at best. That's very important. But the animation preset for the conversion type is very large. So if you if so if you select this animation preset, make sure it's worth it because about 30 seconds of video is about two gigabytes. So it's pretty large. Now it depends on what you're rendering out, but it's pretty large. So if you want quality, choose the animation conversion type and set it to best. Now say you're creating a YouTube video or you're creating something for a school project where you know you want pretty decent quality but you don't want a huge 2 gigabyte file you want something around 50, 20, 100 megabytes something like that we're gonna go with the photo JPEG right here basically photo JPEG is a pretty high quality it's um, photo JPEG quality actually so if you know what a photo JPEG is then that's how good the quality is and of course you set it to best and depth to color and frames again 29.97 frames per second at the default NTSC DV but basically it gives you pretty decent quality with low file size around 20 50 to 100 megabytes not that large compared to the animation preset 
So again, if you want quality, go with the animation. And if you just want okay quality, pretty good quality, but not that large of file size, like for YouTube or something like that, then we're gonna go with the photo JPEG. Of course, you can change the quality down to 90, 80. I like to keep mine at best. Now, if you're working for a draft, say you just wanna render something out real quick just to see how smooth it flows, I'm gonna generally put my quality to about 70% around here. So you don't really need that much of a quality and it's that photo JPEG, so it renders a lot faster too. But again, the compression type just varies on what you want to do, but most of the time, I create mine for animation preset, set to around 95%, 93 percent, because you don't really need 100 percent unless you're working for a broadcasting station. I'm gonna hit OK. And so I mean, of course, there's a whole bunch of formats. Formats, you have the animated GIF, you have H264, which is very hardcore extensive. We have Blu-ray, we also have PNG sequence and TIFF sequence and JPEG sequence. Basically, if you are familiar with 3D modeling programs, you're familiar with rendering out your scenes as frames. So each frame is a new PNG sequence, a PNG image. So basically, if you want to render your whole composition up by frames that are different images, then of course you have that option right here, PNG sequence and TIFF sequences. Though I don't recommend it in After Effects because you don't really need it in After Effects like you do in 3D modeling programs. But of course, now say you want to render alpha, say you want to pre-render um, lens flares or something like that, and you need the alpha channel, you need transparency in your video clip for lower thirds or anything like that. Well, in that case, you're gonna have to select QuickTime Movie, make sure you click on the animation preset because Photo JPEG cannot handle transparency. So you're gonna need to click on the animation preset. And then for the channel video output, we have to set the channels to RGB and alpha. That means it includes the RGB color values as well as the alpha transparency pixels. Make sure the depth is at 100, I mean millions of colors, color at pre-multiply matted, and then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory like the stretch, crop, and audio output. Of course, check this if you want some audio in your final output, but then again, most people put their audios using their video editor like Vegas, Final Cut, or something like that. But basically, that's pretty much the main part of rendering. The color management is all self-explanatory as well, but you don't really need to mess with anything as long as you go into the output module, select your format, your quality, hit OK, and then to the output to go ahead and click that. And basically, this is where you're going to save your video. So if you want to save your final video onto your desktop, then just browse to your desktop. We can name it animation video, hit save, but you're not done yet. To render something, you have to click on the render button right here. Once you click render, it's going to start rendering your video out, just like that. And now it's going to take some time to render this out. But I've heard some tips from other people, like AE tweets and all that stuff, and from other people. And I've tried this myself. If you press and hold down the caps lock and just keep the caps lock on, then it's going to disable the preview right here. As you see, when I'm rendering, it shows where you are at rendering. Now, if you disable this preview rendering by hitting the caps lock right here, it's going to disable that. See how everything starts moving? If you disable that, apparently it renders a lot faster. And I've experienced that it does render a little bit faster. It maybe it renders about a minute or two faster than with the preview on. But, you know, it saves some space. If you're just going to leave it idle, you might as well just keep the caps lock on. You can also close the composition right here. Close the composition window so it doesn't show anything. But keeping the caps lock on is pretty convenient as well. And it renders a little bit faster. As you see right here, it shows the progress of where you are the frames that's at right now and the final frame at 300 but basically that's the essentials of rendering that's how you render out your form format into a default MOV format or AVI etc that's how you bring it to your video editor and hopefully this video showed you enough to produce your videos using After Effects I hope that this video tutorial wasn't that fast I'm trying my best to slow down I know I get a lot of hater comments for going so fast but you guys this is so easy this is the AE 101 series but anyways, make sure you send your video request by commenting below or PM me. Send me a video request because I am running out of ideas for video tutorials. So please send me ideas for video tutorials. Check my Facebook page, link in the video description, like the page, become a fan of my Facebook page. Check out my video profile where you can find this animation right here and other animations I've done for sale as a template. And just thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Check out my video tutorials for more animations, video tutorials, etc. And I'll be trying doing my I'll try to be doing more of my old video tutorials over again because the quality isn't that great. 
and I'm going to try to slow down in these video tutorials. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.